Welcome back to Tuesday Talks with Red. Um, we've made it to episode three. That's crazy. That's still, this is still foreign and crazy to me, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, so today's episode is called, um, I've titled it, Here I Raise My Ebenezer. Um, and where um, that actual line comes from is uh, an old hymn. Um, but the actual f phrase is talking about Ebenezer Stones, which is scriptural. scriptural. So um, we're going to dive in a little bit to kind of where that comes from. So again, like I've talked about before, if you haven't watched episodes one and two, go back and watch that. Um, but like I've talked about before, even if you're not um, a believer in Jesus, perfectly fine. It is okay. This talk is for you as well because this is applicable across all realms of life. And I think it's very important for us to do things like um, what I'm about to talk through um, at any given point in our life because I think um, it can help take us to a better place of understanding of ourselves. It can help take us to a place of gratitude, which we just came out of Thanksgiving when, you know, we all did the, I'm going to post, you know, 31 days of gratitude on Facebook. But if you look at the other, you know, 11 months, we are ugly. So, um, I really, I really, um, think this, I know this applies to everyone. So don't, don't jump off. Don't close it down just because I said, ooh, this is something, you know, rooted in scripture. Um, news, news flash, there's a lot of things that play out in our everyday life that's really rooted in scripture. We just may not know it. And that's okay. Um, so what we're going to do is talk about, um, what is an Ebenezer? Is it Scrooge? No, is it's not, it's not the, um, you know, no ghosts of Christmas past are coming in to talk about this. That is not, um, where it comes from. So what happened is this comes from, um, the book of first Samuel. Um, the scripture itself is actually where, where it talks about what we're going to land on is actually first Samuel seven. So if you want to go look at that, you can. Um, but all of, all of, um, first Samuel. So there were great beginnings, um, at the opening of this book, everything was a theocracy. It was all God centered. Uh, but you'll see as it kind of trudges on, it becomes a monarchy, um, where it's all very self-centered. And that's kind of how, um, how that book plays out. But we're, we're not gonna go that far just yet. We're really going to kind of talk about leading up to this, this, uh, part of first Samuel where we land in seven. Um, what had been happening, there was a battle raging. There had been a battle raging on between uh, the Philistines and the Israelites. And, um, and yeah, you might, even if, even if you're not, you're new to this whole Bible biz, um, you've probably heard about the Philistine Goliath. I really don't think there is any, <laughs> any happenstance in the fact that um, kind of what we're talking about can be tied a little bit to the Philistines, which was, which was what Goliath was. So we'll, We'll get on that in a second. Um, but what had happened was, as we're walking through this battle, eventually um, Israel is led to victory. And so what happens is they get to a certain town. doesn't matter what it is for, for this particular discussion, but they get to a certain town and they look back at where they've been, where they've come from, the things that they, that they really worked and struggled through. And took a bunch of different stones and stacked them up. Like if you if you Google it or if you um, see anything that's written about it, usually there's this real pretty picture of like this really pretty pillar of stones. That's it's probably not what it was, but it doesn't matter. Um, they stacked up a bunch of different stones and said in that scripture they said, "The Lord has brought me thus far." Okay, so that's what it literally translates to is it's a stone of help. And it's it's speaking to the fact that they were able to look back and go, you know what? That's where we started. This is where I am. What are the significant gates along the way that I should have XYZ? I should have died. I should have crumbled under the weight of whatever it was that was bearing down on us. Um, but I didn't. And so it's an opportunity to look back, um, 
all the way back as far as you can go. That's why in episode one where I talked about um, my story takes so long, it's because I, you know, as the years have, have rocked on, um, you know, I probably at earlier phases of my life could have broke it up into like two main Ebenezer stones, you know, the trauma of my childhood, um, into the fact that I can't have kids like that would have probably been the first two handful of stones. But as I've, as I've grown and as I have honed that skill of, of looking back and seeing what I've been brought through now, let me, let me clarify something. This is not intended to focus on the failures, okay? That is not what this is at all. If I were to focus on all of my failures, I mean, I wouldn't be able to see the stones. There would just be absolutely no way to see those stones. So, um, I looked back and tried to, to hone in on those pillars, those huge moments that might have seemed small at the time to say, the Lord brought me through that. Not a believer? Okay, let's take that off the table for just a second. Now, I'm going to land back there, but let's take it off the table for a second. I'm, let's say I'm sitting here not a believer and I think it's all just hogwash. Fine. I still can look back and find moments from as far, as far back as I can go to go, you know what? I shouldn't have come through that. I should not have made it out of that. And I know a lot of times when we have, um, I have lots of, of acquaintances in my life who don't believe the same way that I believe. And they come at me with, well, then why did that happen? Well, then that was just a coincidence. You can believe that I'm choosing to believe this way. That doesn't mean we're div we're completely divided and can never you know talk again as what seems to be the world today anymore, which is just crazy to me. But um, you know you can still look back with gratitude, with thankfulness, with just mind blowing um, shift in the way you look at your present circumstances. By looking at what you've come through, looking looking at what those Ebenezer stones are. Like I love when I get into a, a place of um, anxiety, when I get into a place of man, like why is why is my life like this right now? I, whoo, whoa, Billy, stop! Flip that script and let's look that way. Let's look that way, and I just see these pillars of. Oh my goodness, childhood trauma that no one, no one should have to go through. Oh my goodness, let's, um, she's barren, but we have children. Like, um, an unwanted divorce, I have a couple, unwanted divorce, suicide. Like, let's, let's look at these pillars and go, oh my goodness, I have come this far. I, this is what I challenge you to do this week, this week at some point, I want you to sit down with a piece of paper. It can be a it can be a tiny one. I don't really care. And just write down the thing. Stop focusing for just a moment. Let's stop focusing on the negative, and let's focus on. You know what? That's a moment. That's a stone. Draw it out. Hang that picture up. Look at it again. I did an exercise with um, a, a couple of youth one time that it was gather literally gather some stones. Write those on some stones, keep them in a jar, something, something to have that visual reminder. When we get our minds, because uh, you know, our thoughts are what direct our paths a lot. When our thoughts start going into bad places, I can look at that picture. I can look down the hallway. I can look at this, this canister of stones and say, you know what? I should have, but I didn't. And that means I'm going to keep moving forward. And so that's what I really challenge you to try to find some time to do this week is, is really is, look at that. Get it, get a skeleton, get an outline, and then maybe in another week or so, pull it back out. I guarantee you, you'll find more that you didn't know were there. No matter how just terrible life is going right now, no matter how, let these be reminders that you are stronger than you think you are. We are all stronger than we think we are. And the woulda, shoulda, coulda's have no room for us anymore. 
We've got to start flipping that script and it takes one moment at a time, one stone at a time, and we can do it. So I challenge you to do that this week. Um, what we got up next week? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh! So we have boundaries. <laughs> So my next, our next episode is boundaries. What are boundaries? So that's going to be fun to talk about. So I hope to see you next week. Like and subscribe and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.